Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the mine. So I've been getting some more work done on this so we can get down inside. Uh, the top five feet or so was caving in. A lot of dirt. Uh, I had to kind of get that all cleaned up. So we're just finishing that up. Hopefully next trip out here we can get down inside. Um, rappel down in and have some fun exploring the three levels that are there. Now, if you guys will notice, there's been quite a bit more done um, in this mine since that last video I posted. I didn't have the lagging in on that first video. Um, I made another trip out here and got some work done on it. And I recorded everything. And then, well, you know, I might have dropped something. Like my camera, 200 feet or so down this hole. So all that can't or all that video is gone, which sucks. Some cool video sucks have to buy another camera, but whatever. So I'm a little skittish and this isn't getting recorded. The work I'm doing is not getting recorded because I don't want to drop another camera. Um, but after I get this done, I'll show you guys what's going on. So I got everything done on this top section for the most part. Um, it was kind of done interesting along the bottoms there. I couldn't get behind the original lagging down there. Because when I pulled this off, I found a whole lot of cedar trees that I'm guessing was put there back in the 1800s when this mine was originally opened. Um, I think... They re-timbered it in the 30s when it was opened for the second time. But I couldn't get behind all those trees. So it's kind of done interesting. Um, I do need to add something right here to help hold that back a little bit. But I don't know. I didn't know what else to do. And I don't think it should be too big of an issue. It seems to be holding okay i do got to fill in behind all the lagging and that's going to take a little bit but i think it's time for lunch break and got a pretty cool surprise for you guys so let's go check it out hey guys check it out got a nice little head frame there pretty cool then off the hill there is a orbin not bad looking let me flip the camera around and go show you guys some close-ups there's the head frame kind of interesting how that one's built now this mine is an incline shaft it doesn't go straight down and i don't have a flashlight with me to illuminate that for you guys but there it is you could actually slide in under the side here if you really wanted to but pretty interesting don't know much about this particular mine but we'll go poke around and see what else we can find so just up the hill a few feet from the entrance the portal to that incline we have another uh, opening. I don't know if this was meant as a portal or if they just uh, followed the vein that they were chasing clear to the surface. I'm guessing that was the main mine and this one they just followed the ore outcropping all the way to the surface. Um, that would be my guess. You can still see the stoles down in there. I wish I had a light with me to make it a little more visible for you guys. And then right here is another one. Uh, I don't know what all the wood is on top, what that was for. If it had some purpose or not. A little bit of light because of that other opening but you can see the stoles down in there the stoles are those things there 
the timber is used to hold the roof up in case you didn't know and then right here it opens up again now on this side here it's some rough jagged rock um, but then on that other side there it's actually pretty slick um, as well as right there so the hanging wall that one, that's the hanging wall uh, is pretty smooth kind of cool looking the next stop on the trip today it's a cool little building here got some junk barrels and stuff outside but this is pretty freaking interesting you know what this is don't you guys you better and right there is a head frame so this is the hoist used to pull the ore cars out motor's gone it's pretty cool looking so we could see the top of the head frame uh, you got brake the brake system over here pretty gnarly brake pads there and of course some animals been living in there rats or something pretty cool it's all froze up it ain't turning but looks pretty cool hey guys down in the description is a link to buy me a coffee set up an account there so you guys can help keep this journey going and help me get out here and make more videos for you guys i would greatly appreciate it and it does help this channel out a lot i had power What was this room? Tool room or something maybe? Kind of interesting. Used to be more buildings over here of some sort. You know, shack up right there. Might have been the powder shack for the dynamite. We'll go take a look in a minute. But wanted you guys to see this. It's pretty cool looking. And this is another incline shaft. stupid gates but it's been uh, plugged up actually right there where that snow is his hole I don't know if it was intentional or if they stuck a thing of dynamite right there but look how freaking massive that rail car or that uh, skip car must have been let me flip the camera around to give you guys an idea so I'm right up against the one rail on this side. If I reach over, I can't reach the other rail. I'll have to scoot over a little bit. I don't know what gauge of car they were running. But these weren't your little itty bitty tiny ones. These were some decent cars coming out of this mine. But it's pretty cool looking big mine i wish i could get down inside it'd be cool to check it out hey guys that's it for today's video just short and sweet but like i said next time we make it out here hopefully we're going down inside that gonna rappel down in check it out i'm really excited and i hope you guys will join me for that uh hit that subscribe button so you don't miss that it will also help me reach my goal of hitting 500 subscribers so until next time keep it safe keep it real keep it in the gold